What's up guys, this is Steve at Design Steve's Web Design. Today I'm just going to show you how to add new posts and pages to your WordPress website. Uh, so this is my website here. I'm just going to go over to the blog and uh, you'll see all my posts. You'll see that they have a title, uh, picture and information with uh, links. So, um, to start off with, type in your website name and then forward slash wp dash admin, and that will take you to this login screen. And just put your username and password in and log in, um, and then that will take you to your dashboard. Um, you've got various things on your dashboard, um, such as how many posts you've got, pages categories and tags, uh, comments, things like that. Um, but we'll just go over to posts. Um, next you just need to go to add new. Um, I'm going to click on one that I did earlier. And I'll just ignore this. Uh, put your title in. And then this bit here, make sure that you're in the visual tab. Um, to insert an image, uh, just click on this upload insert icon here and then click on the select files to choose an image from your computer um, otherwise if you've already uploaded it it will be in your media library and you can choose an image from there um, just make sure it's got a title and some alternate text explaining what the image is for people that can't see the image um, some websites it will have captions and descriptions that you can put in um, but usually you don't need to put that in um, if you want to display it on, in the middle or on the right you can do that and then you can choose a size and just click insert into post I've already done that so I won't be doing that um, so that's that there next thing you might want to do is add some links so all you do is select a bit of text and click on this icon here and you can either choose um, one of your pages if you're linking internally or if you're linking externally you can type the address in here and you can usually do that just by copying from the address bar and pasting it in the website you want to link to uh, click update to add that um, obviously you can just put any text you want into here um, a nice little tip for you is to link certain um, keywords to other pages on your website um, that will help with your SEO um, that's pretty much it for the basics um, the other thing you might want to do is add some categories so these, all these um, categories will appear on your blog post um, if you haven't got any set up already just click add new crap category here and just add it and then the other thing is tags you probably want to add there some tags so that for this web this post um, it's an illustration and um, web design so I'll just put um, things that are relevant to it like illustration <laughs> put spell right and Oh, Cambridge. Oh, that's good for your SEO. That. Um, that's all your basics, really. This isn't an SEO plugin that I've added to the website. Um, can help with your search engine optimization, um, but I won't be getting into that today. And when you've done, you just click the publish, or if you've already, um, if you're editing the post, just click update. And then if we head over to the blog here, um, this is where your post will appear. So as you can see, we've got a title, image, um, and text with links. You can see how I've used uh, links like redesign, online store content management system the sort of things I'm advertising on my website so they'd be like my keywords if you like 
um, here's the categories and I didn't actually save the tags so they won't appear but they will once you've done so um, only other thing is pages these are all the pages we've got here um, to do a page just go back into the admin section and all you do is uh, click on pages it's pretty much the same thing you can add a new page or add an um, existing page and this is all, all your information that, uh, is on that actual page so same thing you've got your page editor here title um, that's pretty much it for pages once you've done that obviously once you go to your website go to the about page you'll see this is the, the content that we added in there so this website this is the actual overall design and then anything you put into the, the page in that uh, admin section appears in this block here so obviously things like your home page where you may have content laid out a bit differently um, like this for example it appeared a bit different in the editor just go to the editor oh that's not what we wanted let's try that again pages this time we'll go into the home page and you'll see it is a bit different here but if it's a page that's been designed for you by your web designer um, once you you saved it will appear right um, if you wanted to edit your home page for example you'd leave it as it is but you'd change the key bits so maybe you wanted to refresh the word and you can just do that or maybe uh, you want to change an image to change an image uh, click on it and these two icons will appear you can either delete which I wouldn't really advise or you can click on this image icon and just switch the image over um, this is a uh, fine sense and you just basically change the, the whereabouts of the image so obviously you've got an address bar here so I'll just show you how to get the, the address for the image If you go into your media library, say we wanted to change the image for this image. No, it's not like the right same size or anything, but it's just for example, you see file URL here. You just copy that and you just paste it into here. And that'll actually update the, the image to uh, this image here. Click on that because we don't actually want to change the image. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for posts and pages. Um, that's all the basics, anyway. If you want any advice or anything on um, uh, more advanced stuff, just, just hit me up in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Um, so, yeah, uh, cheers, guys, and uh, take care.